last in the pickups for the year. I said we should do what Derek did. I'd be fully willing to do this with the uh, egg thing for uh, TikTok with the trivia. We should do that. But right here live. We could do a live, but like, like I said, like just I'll fool them like you throw them at me. No, for real, I'll, I'll do that. I'll let you just straight help me with eggs. Like we'll do it now. So, so three, yeah, that's what I said. Like I'll listen, I'm down for the call. So Sorry. three, two, one. I know one thing. You snap at me like that again, I'll punch you in the face. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back to another episode of Barbershop Break Room, everybody. Episode 19? 19, sure. Wild guess, got it. I know. Welcome back, everybody. All right, fellas. What are we going to do first? Is it 20? I don't know. I, I think it's 19. I just wanted everybody to be like, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, no, I, don't I really know. don't. You know, I never know what episode we're on. Sorry. Put my phone down. 20, I think. I'm in the middle of a day. 19. Trade. One of the two. All right, cool. Where are we heading first? We going to pick them? Um, you can do the punishment to get them out of the way. Yeah, let's do that. Fuck it. Jordan um, brought the punishment. All right, so if we go to our pickums. Oh, he Bring made a fancy. Fucking leaving. He made a fancy. Derek. Oh, never mind that one. Finishes the year off in first. Matt finishes the week in first. You're nice. eleven and five. Matt, not me and Derek went nine and seven. Dante went eight and eight. Um. Yeah, so let's do it. I guess. was on a roll at the end. I was like five straight weeks. I was either first or second. Yeah, I think this is just proof that I just don't know shit about football. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> you, okay. So I brought us some little. Uh, Damn, I had that parlay, dude. Shot glasses with hair in them. Nice. Is there hair? The barbershop is going to be hair and everything. Man, I'm came from his house. This German Shepherd this hair. One, this yeah, this one's hair. dog hair. That's, that's German right. Shepherd hair, dog. Right. Right. I know that life. You get the. Oh, that's not. Ah, uh, you be barrel for the black velvet, bro. That's a treat. Unofficial sponsor. That's, that's a delicacy. I've never had it. This aroma is delicious. I I bought it and never had you it. You had it before. You just Where don't remember you having it? it. You don't remember when he poured oh, we that had it into in the Corona, but yeah. I've never had it straight. This Arona just tastes like licorice, like for real. Licorice. Yeah, it's not great by itself, but it's not terrible. Roger does it out the box. Like it's not bad. It's just more, it's one of the easiest not dis- things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's one of the easiest things to take a like shot of, bro. It's not disgusting. It's like twenty proof. Oh, yeah. Like, like you don't even straight. have to take a shot. You just have to swig it. Right. You, you want to black belt? You want to get a bit of better move? Yeah. Right. Yeah. Look, you filled yours up more. You're going to take a shot, and then you're going to want to pour some more in your coffee. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so I had a suggestion when you guys weren't back here. I said, since I obviously came in last in the pickups for the year, I said we should do what Derek did. I'd be fully willing to do this with the uh, egg thing for uh, TikTok with the trivia. We should do that. But right here live. We could do a live, but like, like I said, like, just I'll throw fool them like you throw them at me. No, for real, I'll, I'll do that. I'll let you just straight help me with eggs. Like, we'll do a dozen. So throughout, yeah, that's what I said. Like, I'll, listen, I'm down for the call. So Sorry. throughout the next episode, randomly, you just get hit with eggs? Ah, I don't know about that. Like, we each get a dozen. Because, like, the Matt most organic Derek. moment is going to be you accidentally hit me in the face and me coming across the table and knocking your glasses on the floor. Who's, gonna, who's cleaning that up? <laughs> y'all got to do it. If, y'all, if I'm getting hit with eggs, I ain't cleaning shit. I'm not cleaning it. <laughs> I mean, we did clean it up from underneath you were just the like, seat. Yeah, of but if the you're chair. throwing, bro, shit's gonna be up here. Oh, yeah. Like I've seen you throw a football at D Bake and uh, Evan before, bro. It's not gonna go well. <laughs> I hit them both directly in the face. You missed D Bake and hit the wall with velocity. When did I do that? <laughs> he was the first one you missed, and he was like, "Holy shit!" You remember that? No. He was sitting match there, and you almost assassinated him, but you missed. Oh yeah, with the little football. He moved though. That was accurate as hell. <laughs> All right. We doing our punishment now? Yeah, fuck it. Sure. Bottoms up. What do you guys sound like? It wasn't treat. that much of a punishment. It's so. not. Nah. Ah. Trying to get you should have had to put some caviar in there. <laughs> it's pretty good. It's not bad. It went down smooth. Not it doesn't terrible. burn. Yeah. Bro, it's like a... This run was like a, a mixer, bro. <laughs> it's like a fucking margarita mix that has, has liquor in it already. Liquor. Yeah, yeah. All right, so it I smells can't... way worse than it tastes, to be honest. Like I opened it up and smelled it, and that's how I chose it. I'm not mad at that. In the liquor store, in the aisle of the liquor store, I just opened it and smelled it. No, you didn't. Where'd you buy it at? Target. I opened it and smelled it, so I don't want to say they sell it at Target. Where'd you buy it? The one stop up by B Dubs in Austin Town. Oh, okay. I was like, they sell that <laughs> shit at Target. 
All right, this so, cat was at the liquor store once, uh, the, like the legitimate liquor store, and came out with Di Sirono. They got that at Fast Track. That shit, yeah, when you have Fast Track, you just want some liquor for tonight, and you ain't got no choices. You're well, looking was, at Parabay, so, Malibu, or Di Sirono. So I got it on New Year's, and I was at my boy's apartment. So that was the closest place. Like I just wanted to make sure that they had it because we were doing that Dr Pepper thing. I bought uh, Coronas. Got you. I have one question before. Talk to me. Who put Aaron Hernandez in that blank space right there? That would be. That was, that was you. Space. That, that was, was you. No, no, it wasn't me. I picked that up off the ground and put it there. You did. It was just empty, so I had to fill it. I knew it was an empty space. What's wrong with Aaron Hernandez? We put him right by his teammate Tim Tebow. I mean, that is true. You I did. can actually feel and like his other teammates from the longest yard. I can, <laughs> <laughs> I can actually feel like my fantasy team. I mean, my fantasy league name hanging with Hernandez. I'm hanging with him right now. Yikes! <laughs> All right, next. <laughs> that made you uncomfortable <laughs> yikes that made me never mind all right so our overall records Derek finished first 176 and 92 we only picked two games different last week and split. we split so i also went nine and seven and finished 175 and 93 one game off matt made a push at the end finished 168 and 100 and dante 155 and 113 it's over 500 i'll take it 20 games back Shout out to the Browns. That's what we did. <laughs> That's what we did. We both did pick the Browns, too. That was Fuck bad. Damn. Fuck that. All right. Well, where are we going? Well, first, can we admit the table might know a little bit of something about football? Because me and Derek have both been attacked for it. I don't know if you watched last week's episode, but you remember on two instances in one debate where you were just saying shit and you were awfully wrong. <laughs> I so, just say no, shit. I can't give you credit because that shit was one. Anyway. That but was when just it comes to actually ago. needing to know it, I know it. You see that guy on TikTok roasting me for not looking at the players' faces? That was Danny. He's like, That's Matt's cousin. Is it's it? Danny. That was saying? Danny? Yeah, because he was like, bro, he was like, you don't look at the players' faces. You're fucking casual. You look at their faces. What do you look at? I didn't know that was Danny. Yeah, that's Danny. Danny. I didn't what even look. look. I didn't see. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, what do you mean? I'm like, why do I? I don't look at their hey, faces. Hey, you want to know something funny, though? The first time I seen that. I swear it I said it a different name. name. Like, it didn't say, like, D.Dot Will. Like, I swear it was, like, someone else's comment. Then I went back. It didn't have a picture or anything. Then I went back yesterday. I thought it was an old man. I'm sorry, Like, he Danny. thought that dude was an old I'm man. Sorry, that was Joe Biden. <laughs> I'm going to have to talk But, yeah, that was Danny. Not. It's upsetting. I never clicked on the profile picture to know if that was Joe Biden. I just seen his face and was like, all right. Mm-hmm. Seen the gray hair and attacked. Seen the gray hair and attacked. All right, so Georgia put... A fucking ass whooping on TCU last night. I didn't even watch the game until like I went bowling last night and they had it up there. But big ups to um, a couple of people I seen on Facebook saying bet TCU was spread. Georgia's not oh winning God, this I game by more than that. ten. I said all week Georgia by a hundred. <laughs> they damn near they put shouldn't up even have been in the last game. TCU. Kent State put up a better game. Facts. That is <laughs> still a lot still flashes. Yeah, they, one uh, of four they, teams. they had no reason to even be in that 65 game. 65 to 7, bro. It's almost 100. Kent like, State, one of four teams to have 22 or more points on Georgia. Ohio State, another one. Yeah. <laughs> the, 40 the real national seven. championship was last week when it was Georgia versus Ohio State. Let's just say that. Honestly, that was the best game in the playoffs. That's why I wore the jersey today. Because I just wanted people to know that we really should have been national champions because we would have fucked TCU the same exact way. Probably 10 other teams that would have faced TCU in the championship would have beat TCU. Not like this, though. No, not like not 65 like to 7. I mean, no. I know one team that couldn't beat them. <laughs> <laughs> so they're not one of those 10. <laughs> I can almost guarantee 9 out of 10 times Michigan beats TCU, but they somehow just got well, that 10th Well, it looks like right we'll, there. Never it. we'll never see <laughs> so it. So the one out of the one time right. they played, they, I kind of they agree, won. But yeah. And don't Blake, matter if you agree or not, we'll never see it. No Blake don't count. Corum will be back next year. We already year. knew that. He we, will be back. I was lying every time that I said that, oh, breaking news, Blake Corum back. Trust this me, time, bro. I know you just be saying this shit. This time, it's for real. Blake Corum is back next year. I hope he tears his ACL. And then makes a speedy recovery and goes to the draft. You hope he shit. just... <laughs> not the ACL. <laughs> Something else. Like, breaks his finger or some shit. I like, want him out for the year. He has to, yeah, breaks his finger like really bad that he has to have a cast and he can't hold a football. No, I'm not going to feel bad. Oh, God. All Speaking right. of broken fingers, Raheem Mostert out for the first game of the playoffs with a broken finger. Segway Tua, of the century. Tua, also questionable for the first round. They play Buffalo again, right? I think so. 
pull yeah. up the playoff picture. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they play Buffalo. Yeah. Um, They're getting woodshedded. We doing the draft later? Um, I mean, do we have any other plans? I mean, we might as well just segue straight to it since we're talking about the playoffs right now. We can. All right, well, since so we, we didn't get it to it last episode, oh. boys, uh, let's just do after this. So, yeah. Oh, okay. um, can we talk about it for a little bit? Just remember one thing, Jordan. I know football. Yeah. Dang. That, uh, Sometimes. Jaguars, Chargers game will be good. I low-key think the Jags might win. I'm going to keep it real with you. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. That might be a good game. All right, so you guys want to, um, after this, after we talk about this, you want to do... A nice little draft. Yeah. Only with players in the playoffs. But yeah. I got to move over a little bit. I can't see the the NFC because of the cameras in the way. Oh. But, uh, yeah, um, honestly, even with Tua, even with Raheem, I just don't – I didn't see them beating Buffalo again. Like, I know they won in a regular season. Uh, would they split, right, one and one Yeah. I think so. I, yeah, they did. I still didn't think they were going to beat Buffalo. To be completely honest, I think we're going to see another Buffalo uh, KC. It would have been way more competitive. The only person that's got something to say is Joey the B. Bengals, probably. Joey B. Yeah. Listen, that's, that's Patrick Mahomes' arch nemesis right there, bro. He gets the best of him every time, him he and got, Andy Reid. He's going to have to get past Josh Allen first. Mm-hmm. Shit. They lose Baltimore. I'm going to keep real. I know they just beat the shit out of him, but Lamar's supposed to come back. If that's a, that's a whole different team with him. Like, I know they're still not amazing. The Ravens would have better season. They at least put points on the board when Lamar plays. Like, it, it ain't 40, but it's... to have Skylar Thompson and uh, Tyler Huntley in the playoffs. <laughs> Please don't say that. I mean, that's like the year we had Blake Bortles, Nick Foles. Too trash. Um, Case Keenum and Tom Brady. Any other backups <laughs> over there? Uh, you got Brock uh, Purdy. Purdy. You got Geno Smith. You got... Dak Prescott. Yeah, he Dak, looked, he looked like so shit. Bad last Dak week. led the league in interceptions. Can I, he didn't even play the can whole I just six can I just tell you guys that uh, I'm retired from sports betting for one, as um, you should. Yeah, I bet I live bet Dallas last week. I know I heard. plus six and a half when they were only down one touchdown versus the Commanders. You know, you saw what the Browns did to them. Dallas is a better team, in my opinion, right top to bottom. I agree. I agree. They got fucking torched. Yeah, they only, did you oh, see that out route that Dak threw that went back for six? The when he threw it twice in a row. Yeah. And he dropped the first pick and then he caught the set. Like, why? Like, I wouldn't even, if I almost threw him. a pick to one corner, I'm not even looking that way the next time. He threw it right That's what him. the corner thought, probably. That's what he was thinking the corner thought. Like, he looking you know all like crazy. Like, you know he's doing that Jay Lorenzi. You, you tell me. <laughs> you, know you tell me. <laughs> but uh, Dak looked like shit. He's a backup. Um, yeah. Yeah, it'll be good, rush. though. I think, uh, so who do we think will win between uh, Dallas and Tampa? We we just want to do predictions for, like, who makes the sure. next round, or there's <clears> no <throat> point to do a pick them for yeah. that that few games. Um, well, you got a chance to win. Pro. If we make a more... Th- over. <laughs> no, you don't <laughs> I'm say saying it. a fresh start. <laughs> it's 0-0. Zero, zero. It's <laughs> over. Just a playoff pick them. It's a playoff pick them. I'm not going zero, to 0-0. Zero. Well, most likely, most of the game is going to be, like, the same. For everybody, all right. Well, uh, it's just so Tampa small the sample is size. gonna beat the Cowboys. I was gonna say Tampa. I got Tampa. Cowboys. Now. I don't know, bro. You got Tampa Dallas look bad too. Both well, Tom bad. Brady finished with a losing record and he's gonna win the Super Bowl. Isn't that fucking crazy? Mm hmm. Um, fun fact Danny Dallas. Jones is about to win the first round of the playoffs. <laughs> <laughs> is it prime time? What time do they play? I think I it don't is know, time. but. Our, he our all they're all, they're they're all, all technically prime, prime time. time. He rested yeah. last week. No, like, so, there's like some late. one o'clock. No, nah, there's four o'clock. Oh, uh, but even if they're Saturdays at four and eight, I don't think four is prime time. Though. Even if there was a I one o'clock though, prime I think time. is Let's it prime see. time. Like Dante said earlier in the year, prime time is just when you play and nobody else. When is. nobody else is I on, it's so. only you on. It's technically prime time. I mean, there's only going to be one game on time. Yeah, when there's no one else playing. When there's no one else playing, Kirk has Wild a card weekend, boys. Um, no, we got Saturday, 4.30, Seahawks 49ers. We got... Uh, Niners. <laughs> Saturday night, 8.15, Chargers Jaguars. Jaguars. Sunday, 1 o'clock, Ooh. Dolphins Bills. 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 4.30, Skyler Giants Thompson Vikings. 8.15, Ravens Bengals. I'm going Vikings. I don't know if I can go with the Giants. I I just, Monday I'm night, Giants. Cowboys Bucks. So who's winning that out of all all these teams? What's going to be the Super Bowl matchup? The Bills, the Bills and Eagles. 
The Niners. It's tough Bills for me. Niners? It's tough for Rock me to really Purdy? say. Rock. Um, <laughs> honestly, the soup. <laughs> honestly, I can see the 49ers looking just looking at who they have to go against. I just don't see anybody beating them besides maybe the saying, Eagles. Bro, they might beat the Seahawks. Well, they'll beat the Seahawks, gonna, then they might have to play the Giants next and just torture them. them. And then they play the Eagles in the NFC Championship. Like that'll be well, the that biggest be a test. tough game. Yeah, no, yeah, for that sure. Just be a game they can go either, either, either way. way. You never know. And they Jaylen they thrive. Good. They thrive on defense. And the Eagles thrive on offense. You know what I'm saying? I mean, so I think it'll just be a battle. And San Fran got a good system offense, too. He has all right. the weapons around them. Bro, that dude ain't got to do much That's at what all. I'm saying. All he has he to do has is just perfect. not throw an interception. Like, that's the only thing Kyle Shanahan probably looks as hot as his helmet and says to him is just don't throw a pick and we'll win. And as you can fucking see, he's 5-0. and Yeah. Like, I mean, the dude ain't bad, though. I ain't, like, it's gonna be Jimmy Tom G. Brady versus versus the, be out. <laughs> it's going to be Tom Brady versus the Bills. You think Tom Brady? Nah, man. I don't see... I don't storybook you right in here. I'm gonna keep it real it's with you. It's the Cinderella story, bro. He's gonna surprise everybody and retire, not go to any other team in the offseason. If Tom Brady plays the San Francisco 49ers, that might be the worst game in his career that we ever see. I know like Defense Tom Brady right. in the playoffs. <laughs> like I know Tom Brady in the playoffs is amazing. Like he's like the goat. We, we know that. Bosa, but right? his last pass that with defense the is insane. Bro. Nick Bosa might put him out. Bro, like that I just that defense well, is playing back. out of this world right now. I know he's white, he's not a black quarterback. Yeah, but still. But He's a defensive player to me right now, bro. He's you know the Niners out. whooping the shit out the Seahawks. <laughs> oh, bro. Dino, Dino's in for a long day. Bro, they just played three weeks ago. And it was He's fucking in for horrible, a long bro. afternoon, brother. It's, it's Gino, Gino and someone else. What, they like score the, six last time they played them? Yeah. Gino and someone else are like the most sacked quarterbacks. I think it's him and like oh, Justin God, Fields Oh, God. What if he sees Jalen in the division? You know Justin Fields is like top five in rushing this year? Yeah. yeah. Isn't that insane? Yep. Hey, uh, how about them having the, first, the number one overall pick, though? The uh, Chicago Bears. What Bucks. do they do? That's why they fired Lovey Smith at the Texans, because he just won the game for no reason to fumble the number one overall pick. Do you so think like, he bro, knew he was getting you, fired? Like, you think he you knew, so he just did it to Purposely fuck with won. them? He's like, fuck you guys. You I'm going to keep it real with you, man. We talked about this last week, and I said, you know, I didn't think he deserved <laughs> to be on the high seat because it was like, what the fuck was he supposed to do yeah. with that roster? But, uh, I mean, he knew he was probably getting fired. You know so what you I mean? think he so, went for two with that in the back of his head, like, fuck y'all and no number one pick? I can hey. see that. Jalen Carter, number one pick? What would you think? No? You're the college, man. Um, They're not taking a quarterback. They're not taking a quarterback. They don't need a running back. They need a receiver, but taking a receiver one is wild. Um, I can see him trading back. Jalen Carter, number one pick, plus five. That's what I – so I've seen right a lot now. of things saying that the Bears are likely going to trade it for a lot of assets. Maybe try to get, you know, a late first rounder. and Some uh, fucking lineman for Justin right Fields. Now. Yeah, I mean, I don't know uh, – I think there's a lineman from Alabama that they project to go top five, maybe. Miami? Maybe they just trade back a couple picks, get a second rounder, and then take that dude, maybe. I don't know. But So yeah. what, what's our projections for Super Bowl picks <sighs> this year? Who's playing and who's going to win? Mm, I got to go first? I mean, I'll go first. Bills, Niners, Bills win. The Bills are definitely winning it, but I'm going to say Bills and Tom Brady. Hmm. Damn. Mm, mm, mm. Damn, you can't even tell him his team is going. Just Tom Brady's gone. Yeah. Tom, Tom Brady's Brady. winning. It don't matter. <laughs> He's Dude, dragging that team. Have to this I was going to say, you know, for the sake of really switching it up, because I am up in the air, um, Buffalo hasn't looked great. They really haven't. They, I, I mean, they look good versus New England, but, I, think they'll put it together. I mean, you got two, two kick, kick returns. returns. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Like, you got to do much. Uh, I might should go Casey. They're been, they've been on fire uh, at the right time again. And I'm actually, yes, bless you. Thank you. I think the Eagles go. I think the Eagles go. I, and I want to see the most toxic Super Bowl of all time. Eagles, Eagles fans and Bills fans would be great. <laughs> but I, I got to go KC. I, I want to say Bills Eagles so bad, but I'm going to go KC Eagles. I don't want them to go just so that Chris cannot post any more TikToks about them. That would just be the best, most toxic Super Bowl of all time between Buffalo and Philly. But I, I think know, KC Cowboys Philly. fans are up there too. Oh. Yeah, bro, but Eagles fans, they they, bro, do you remember? We just, we seen them in recent history go to the Super Bowl. Do you remember? They were eating horse shit, bro. <laughs> yeah. I thought that was a dude in Cleveland. That happened there too. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. But fun fact, he was actually from Philly. <laughs> I don't believe that. I don't know. <laughs> well, yes, that happened in both places. Their Super Bowl prediction? Um, I don't believe it, but I just want to watch it. Um <laughs> I'm going to go KC and Tampa. 
Casey Fair, Tampa. Fair tale ending for Tom, uh, Tom Brady until the prodigy just makes sends him home crying back to his son. He's gonna go cuddle with him and kiss him up at the at his house. There's no way that like we they let Brady get all the way to the Super Bowl. Brady's not going to the Super Bowl. He's, He's not going not to the Super Bowl. That team, my my but, realistic one is Bills Eagles, but I didn't want to copy what what you had. I just That's, don't. Nobody has Bills Eagles. He doesn't. No, no. he had Chiefs. No, I got Chiefs. Chiefs. I wanted oh. to say Bills Eagles, oh, I got, but I went Chiefs. I got Eagles. Bills Eagles. Just get to switch it. Down. I thought. <laughs> I mean, that's what I think. All right, you want to randomize some numbers for a quick draft? <clears throat> yeah. All right. So what we're gonna do is, is we're gonna draft a fantasy team based off of only playoff teams right now. So what do we want to do? One quarterback, two yeah. running back, two receiver. Two running back, two receiver. Is that what you said? And then a flex and a tight end. <gasps> That's a lot. No defense? No nothing? No, nah, no defense. I mean, we can take one of the defenses. I mean, no it's, not, it's not like a big sample size. You just choose Yeah, exactly. From that. That's what I'm saying. Like, there's four of us. So, yeah. looking at the running back situation. Let's go no flex. Let's go no flex. Just yeah. two running back, two receiver, tight end defense, and a quarterback. Fuck it, yeah. All right. Real quick, while he's doing the randomizer. Wait, quarterback, two running backs, two receivers. Hold on. Tight end defense. Yep. Yeah. Just say it again one more time, Dante, for TikTok so we can... All right, so we're going to be doing a draft. We will be taking one quarterback, two running backs, two wide receivers, a tight end, and a defense only from the NFL playoffs right now. And while he's doing the randomizer, did you guys see Pat Mahomes is the oldest quarterback in the playoffs from the AFC? 27 years old. He's the oldest AFC starting quarterback in the playoffs yeah, this year. looking at it, yeah. That makes sense. I mean, they're all young. That's wild. Yeah. That means see we're going to see. That's, that's in Bennett was older then? Yeah. Bro, my dude is one year younger than Baker Mayfield, and this motherfucker is in his fifth year in the he's NFL. Old, he's older than uh, everybody on this fucking Herbert. side. Yeah. Him and Lamar, Lamar are the same age. age. He's older than Herbert, Lawrence, Tua, Joey B. <laughs> he's the same age as Lamar. Yeah. <laughs> we doing a snake draft or going straight through? Go straight through. So the order is Dante, Jordan, me, and Matt. And you said we're going straight through or snake? Yeah. Right? I mean, it's through. only four of us. <laughs> All right. Some You're bullshit. still going to get some, some, bullshit. some good players. Yeah, yeah. Get the last ones. With the first overall pick, I would like to select Gino Patrick Mahomes. Patrick Mahomes. Perfect. That's my first pick. You sold right. well. With the second pick, it's the I'm, MVP. I'm going to take uh, no points this week. <laughs> Bro. He ain't playing. Ain't no fantasy teams playing this week regardless. All yeah, leagues are over. All Oh no, we're just saying like overall for oh. all the teams in the playoffs, pick yeah. pick your team. I oh, okay. that's all it is. I thought you meant like fantasy. No, 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 no. No, no, no. <laughs> no, no, no. Hey, fantasy, fantasy like he's yeah. not even playing yeah. this week. No, nah, fantasy's <laughs> over. Everybody's leagues are over now. Obviously, bro. I what? thought we were doing fantasy like we were actually gonna write down these people. No. Nah, 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 bro. I could barely get y'all guys to show up. Y'all think I'm about to actually project numbers and shit? What you mean you? With the second overall pick, I'm gonna take Josh Allen. Good pick. Um, with the third overall pick, because this position is very minimal with talent. Best tight end in football, give me Travis Kelsey. That's cute. That's a good uh, pick. Let me get... I'm going to keep it real with you. There's a lot of really good tight Justin ends Jefferson. in the playoffs. Ooh, Justin Jefferson. With the first pick of the second round, I would like to select... Hey, we're not even going... What? Yeah, not Snake. You wanted? Go ahead, not you. Oh, you want that double up, huh? <clears throat> yeah. You want that double up, cuz? I was looking already for another pig. <laughs> Give me George Kittle. With I, the second pick of the second round, give me Joe Mixon. Going with your fantasy team, huh? Fucked you once. <laughs> That's true. And Dante never texted the group chat. Give me... Give me Tyreek Hill. We'll match, we'll match two receiving duos back up again. That's what's up. Let me get a bite. Let me get Joey B. Joey B, good one. Um, I will take Stefan Diggs. Are you guys going to remember your teams? No. <laughs> I knew no. he wasn't. <laughs> I got to write it down. I will, but I'll remember. I'll write it down. Just I'm gonna write mine down too, real quick. Kelsey and Tiger. I'm just gonna send mine to the group chat. <laughs> Damn, dude. Let me get. Clock's at 20 seconds already. 
Jordan's still picking? I know, he's still God waiting. Damn, Dante Rogan. just picked. 30 seconds Jamar Chase. <laughs> Jamar Chase. He's a Dante just picked. Jamar Chase. Um, I'm going to go with a running back. That's also a receiving threat because he led the league in with running backs with Yo, receiving yeah, yeah, yards. We ain't ask all that. Just pick somebody. Austin Eckler. <laughs> That's cool for fantasy, but we ain't doing that. <laughs> it's the reason why they win. <laughs> uh, let me get AJ Brown. Give me. You all got three players, right? Yeah. Yep. Um. Give me Saquon. I'll take Saquon. I was between him and McCaffrey. Damn. Saquon had a better year, though. Let me get Dalvin then. So it's quarterback, two receivers, two running backs, and a tight end? Mm hmm. No flex? No flex. Okay. Zone. Zone. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um, <laughs> um, um, so I got a receiver running back. Um, 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 so what are, what are all the running backs taken so far? You got to remember. Saquon. <laughs> I mean, like, I don't want to take one. Then Christian McCaffrey? You, he already got He's taken. Available. You stupid. Give me Christian McCaffrey. All right. That's who I wanted. I couldn't decide on who I wanted out of those. Wait, two. how many players you got? Four. Four. Uh, let me get a bite. Let me do... Tony Pollard. Ooh, underrated pick. Jordan's like, fuck, I was going my fantasy team. No. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right. Next pick. Give me... Uh, I'll take Jalen Waddle. Give me DK Metcalf. Boom. I'm mm. sorry. Certified. I I didn't have to attack BK like that. Certified. It's so hard having the best team all the time. Um, <laughs> probably easy having the first pick. <laughs> Anyone pick CD yet? Nope. No. Give me CD Lamb. You don't be paying attention. I know, bro. Cause I'm thinking I'm trying to build my team in my head. I don't know who you guys pick. Fuck your team. I don't care about no other teams. We don't care about We the dogs. <laughs> Pitch on my dog, bro. <laughs> Let me get Kenneth Walker. Good pick, good pick. Kenneth. I need Rookie of the year. Back. Eckler's gone. Uh, Looks like you about stuck gone. with JK. I know you got nah, Travis Etienne. I didn't say we got Etienne left. We got Fournette left. Pacheco ain't JK half bad. Dobbins. Lamar um, Jackson. Can we say JK, man? Put Lamar at running back. Put Lamar at running back. <laughs> um... His really slim pickings right now. Yeah, for sure. I mean, ETN's still available. He ain't bad. The fumble monster. He be fumbling, dog. Rumbling, bumbling, stumbling. <laughs> <laughs> you got Miles Sanders, too? That cat's a bum. He's a bum. Give me ETN. You take the 49ers defense. Pro move. Oh, we're taking the defense, too? Yeah. Shit, it's I didn't know that. I really don't pay attention. At all. I didn't say defense. You just here. When I asked earlier, I didn't say defense. He's just here. <sighs> um, what you coming for? You just picked. Give me. I'm just playing. No, I didn't. Give me the. <laughs> give me the Bills defense. <laughs> Let me get Mark Andrews. I forgot about Mark Andrews for real. I'm gonna keep real with you. Uh, I mean. Oh, I fucked up. I didn't want Mark Andrews. He's like the only tight end that's really left. I want Evan Ingram. Take yeah, it back. Going crazy. Yeah, yeah, no, no, going I thought about crazy. taking him. I really did. Um, Mark Andrews. San Fran's defense, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. San Fran and Bills. We're taking Bill. him. Oh, yeah. Dallas defense. Yeah. yeah, give me Dallas. Give me TJ Hawkinson. You picked uh, Buffalo defense over Dallas? Yeah. Bills Mafia. <laughs> okay. So... This is the last pick, right? I don't know. Is it your last pick? I'm pretty yeah. sure, right? Yeah. This is it. Jalen Hurts. Derek always plays that strategy. Just 
not take a quarterback. To I mean, because once three of them are taken off the board or two of them are taken yeah. off the board, like there's no I'd take them last. Yeah, there's no yeah, reason to take them now. For sure, I win best player with the first pick. <laughs> Patrick Mahomes is the best player on that list. It may not be by far, but he is. Let me get the Giants defense. Kayvon Thibodeau, he's been balling. So, right. we gonna go over the teams real quick. Yeah, go ahead. I'll you go, go first and add the yeah, first. Yeah, we'll just do that in order. Um, at quarterback, I have Patrick Mahomes. My running backs are Saquon Barkley, Travis Etienne. My receiving core is Stephon Diggs and Jalen Waddle. My tight end is George Kittle, and my defense is the Dallas Cowboys. Solid. My quarterback is Josh Allen. Running backs, Joe Mixon and Dalvin Cook. Jamar Chase, DK Metcalf, TJ Hawkinson at tight end, Niners defense. Hey, that's even just really ain't that good. <laughs> I got <laughs> <laughs> I got Jalen at quarterback, Eckler and CMC at running back, Tyreek and CD at CMC. receivers. <laughs> CMC? <laughs> Christian McCaffrey? I know what you mean. Okay. Tyreek and CD at receiver and then Bill's defense. So far. <laughs> I got Joey at quarterback. <laughs> uh, Justin Jefferson and A.J. Brown at receiver. Uh, Tony Pollard and Kenneth Walker at running back. Mark Andrews at tight end and the Giants. Deep. Tony Pollard, the most underrated pick of the whole draft. Has been RB1 all year. Yeah. <laughs> got Jordan to the fantasy championship. I'll text a group chat today for you, Jordan. Um, real quick. Now it's over. Since uh, we only, we're limited on time. I want to step away from sports real quick, but stay into sports. Let's talk about how gambling has hit Ohio like crack in the 80s. Let's talk about it. Matt, how'd you do this weekend? We didn't really talk much. Mm, not bad. Not bad? Not terrible. I didn't do too, too much. Thank God for all the free money. I was at the game, so like I didn't. Like, right. I wasn't really... Sit, usually I would just be sitting there I just want you to know away. I hit you with a straight bullet like you weren't sure. around we weren't talking nothing like I was just Me? watching the game and when Deshaun threw another pick I literally looked at my TV and I was like I hope Matt get punched in the face <laughs> but not like hard though <laughs> you know what's crazy I had this older black dude sitting next to me bro a Browns fan I was so hell nice yeah off. and you know he's annoying as fuck too wasn't he yeah he kept calling Nick Chubb Chubbs uh, <laughs> you can't come you on Chubbs you can't, you can't make that plural dude he, and he he kept thinking that uh Who's the dude that returns it? Ford? From He's like yeah, number Jerome 34. Ford. Yeah, Jerome 34. Ford. He kept thinking that was Nick Chubb, and I just wanted to be like, bro, oh, that's not off. him. <laughs> that is a casual. Go, Chubb, super go, casual. Chubb. Casual. Spent harder than being a cold to be a casual. Who did you Chubb. get signed by Najee? Just like a poster. Fire. Are we hanging up in here or what? No. MJ. It's not mine. Bro. Oh, it's MJ's? Yeah. Bro, that's, that's your son. It's yours. You gonna frame it at least so he can't ruin it? Yeah. Okay. What I what I tell my son is what's mine is mine, what's yours is mine. Oh, it is mine. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> nah, but listen, when him and that lady who kept the lady was sitting in front of me, she kept high fiving him and shit. And she was pissing me off. She kept high fiving him, Jay? No. Oh, the black dude. Yes. And hey, you talking about the lady that was swinging the terrible towel? Yeah, yeah she the changed Then her. about two minutes left in the game, she took the terrible towel from her friend and was like, you know what, fuck this. You just started That's like that dude, you remember when he took his jersey off mid-game and he had a worse jersey yeah. on? Yeah. yeah. you gotta be the most she simple really, fan of all time, She really bro. just straight switched up. She did all that high five in the whole game. Just to fucking just wave to a terrible switch, towel. Just to switch it up and wave a terrible I'll towel. I'll leave before man. I do some shit like that, bro. What the fuck? Guys are wild. But uh, I just want to say that uh, I'm very happy about all the free money between DraftKings and FanDuel because uh, I really found out this year that I'm a, this year, January 10th. <laughs> that you're a trash gambler. I'm a trash gambler, bro. <laughs> Holy fuck. I was going to ask how much you how much Like, are I am up? Baker Mayfield of gambling. <laughs> So I have only lost twenty five real dollars, like of my own actual money that I've put in. I'm like up. I've put in my initial investment to get free bets or free money, and then withdrew it back out. So I'm only negative twenty five. But in the real grand scheme of things, I might be like negative like five hundred and seventy five. Last time I looked at my gambling record, I was ten and twenty two, and then I hit two. I think I went two and two yesterday, so I'm now twelve and twenty four. So I'm now five hundred. I'm up a dollar fifty five. <laughs> I'm, up, I'm up 10 bucks yeah. Yeah. That's not 500 I said I'm under 500 I, oh. I, That's what I meant to say Under 500 Sorry I'm up 10 bucks And that's only because of that uh, Bet 50 to win 50 On the The Bengals Ravens On FanDuel Yeah to get one yard Or whatever Yeah I lost 50 bucks On uh, 
Since the start of the year, lost 50 bucks in Barstool, but FanDuel's 50 to win 50. I'm just you had to, to deposit 10. Fuck Brooke Lopez. Bro, no, listen. I live bet three games yesterday, okay? Um, yeah, Dallas. Jackson State and, uh, and Alabama. It was, I do the spreads like that. <laughs> so uh, I hit that one. Live bet it for like 20 bucks. It was not, not much at all. Live bet that one, hit it. Then it was like uh, Grambling versus somebody else. Lost that one by a half a point. You're acting like D Bake. Lost that one by <laughs> half a point. It was like over under was like 156 and a half. They scored 157. So then before the night was over, FanDuel is sick. They only give you one. They give you $100 in free bets, but you have to use it all at once. DraftKings let you use it however you want it, 25, yeah. whatever. So I had 100 bucks, <clears throat> and I was like, you know what? I'm looking at the um, Magic game. They're getting ass whooped by the Kings. I'm like, all right, Kings about the third of bench players in. I set the over under at uh, 112 and a half for just Orlando. I did it when they had like 94 points. They had scored 30 points in every quarter, except for one quarter, they had 29. They only needed 25 points to get 112 and a half. They scored 111. Damn. Damn. I had to go pee at like four in the morning and I was like, oh shit, let me check if that bet hit. And I saw my balance of $15. I was like, you gotta be fucking kidding me. So then I checked the ESPN and saw they scored 111. I was like, this shit is toxic, bro. What about all the people with the over in the Steelers Browns game and they went for two for no reason? No reason at all. No reason at all. Sick behavior. Sick behavior. That's the type of shit that like makes you really think that sports betting is like, it's definitely rigged. Like that makes you think that. Like, how do you not think it's rigged when you see shit like that? Why are you going for two? They, to make they it, gave it Deontay into the end zone. The game is out of reach. Did he? So did he end up scoring a touchdown this season? No, or no? he nope. broke the record. Uh, nope. What was it? Eighty-five receptions with no touchdowns in a season. No, nope. uh, more than that. He had more than eighty-five. But I think he had eighty-five, 85 plus. plus. Yeah, because yeah. yeah. last week when we were talking well, about, I think the record was eighty-four receptions in a season without a I touchdown. It was he got I mean, a, dog. He Julio beat had that. Well, Julio had a season he with like one hundred fifteen with like, yeah, one, like one or two touchdowns. Yeah, Matt Ryan was trashed that year. He couldn't get him the ball at all. As yeah, as he looks that up, I just want to say, Jedrick Wills should not be a Browns like a Browns player. Anymore. Yo, that dude is the worst, bro. They're letting the him walk. effort on the on every play. Did when you see it? Gets past him. It don't matter. Any play. Yeah. And not just one play. It's an effort problem. It's not a talent problem. And same thing with uh, Dunzo Ward last game. He could have, he, there was no effort from him. I mean, um, I, I watched it many times of like Deontay Johnson when he almost scored that touchdown and mm-hmm. got tackled at the two. He was, so like, Denzo Ward was on him and he let him catch the ball. He's playing zone, whatever. But, Denz, you talking about Denzel Ward? Yeah. He just like stopped. He just, mm-hmm. That's what I'm saying. He yeah, just, he did. Did, he it's like he, tackled him it's at like maybe he passed the 15, him off. But like it's he like just, he passed him off to somebody else. But he had like, already caught the ball. Yeah. Like you got that at that point. Just well, go tackle. John him. Johnson did the same thing when you guys were in the red zone and you caught it at maybe like the five or ten yard line. It was like a comeback and he caught it right in the middle of the field. And he, like John Johnson just like swiped with his like arm and missed and he just turned up field and just got tackled at like the two yard line. You like, think that Deontay Johnson uh, fumble? Well. Overturned. Do you think that was a fumble or no? No, I didn't think that was a fumble. Let's just be honest here. There was. Like, I didn't think that was pi when they called pi on Newsom. No, that wasn't. That was I was going to say. Let's be honest. There was a lot of calls. Bad calls. Both ways. Yeah. No. It bad wasn't calls. like. Listen. No. The, 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 listen. I'll those. say this before it we have the conversation because obviously we're about to start talking about the game. I'll get it out now. It wasn't. We didn't lose because of bad calls or anything like that. You guys just played better. We're Simple out. as that. You guys played better. We didn't play good at all. Deshaun threw two terrible interceptions, and the play calling was dog shit again. Nick Chubb had six carries between two quarters. Yeah. yeah. That's disgusting. Your mic's still on, just making sure. Yeah, it is. It's okay. I'll be checking it. But, uh, yeah, I mean, you guys just play better. Defense play better. Offense play better. Um, Derek, question for you. We've watched the last three games where uh, Give me Baker Mayfield. Deshaun has not thrown the ball. He's just kind of danced around in the pocket Baker for a smooth Mayfield 15 seconds. Baker Mayfield would have been better seconds. than Deshaun this year. But I'm, I'm asking you, is it a, a receiver not getting open problem? Because our receiving core is up par. Like, let's be real. I'm not taking up for him by any means. Yeah. I'm just saying. Like, besides Amari Cooper, DPJ is our number two. David Bell is three. It's so, rough, like, do you think they're not getting open just because of lack of talent, or do you think Deshaun is just missing reads because he's has, hasn't played in? Somebody's got to be open. At least a check down. I mean, listen, I'm, I'm with you. Trust me. Yeah, it was one play. You know when Nick Chubb caught that receiving touchdown? 
my wife was literally screaming at the TV. Oh, yeah, Nick Chubb is open. Nick Chubb is oh, open. Yeah, like, yeah. She said it like four times, and I'm like, you're fucking right, he is. And like, he finally threw it to left him. left and kind of just like lobbed it up. Yeah, bro, yeah. he could have just threw it to him right out of the backfield. There was no one on that side of the field. I don't right? know if it's the offensive plays. I don't know if it's Deshaun. It's not our receiving core because I don't think it's the we, plays. We don't, we don't have a terrible receiving core. Like in our division, listen, in our division, I'm just, the, the Ravens, Ravens are worse. The Ravens is worse. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, the Steelers is yeah. pretty close to us. It's not like. Yeah, you could argue it that is. ours is better because we have a Mark Cooper. But, yeah, it, but it they might have, be. They have a better. We got, De- we got Deontay, Deontay than, GP, and that's it. But that's still better than DPJ, I think. I like Sims though. But fucking what I'm Jeff saying, sweeps. Like, <laughs> when yeah, Jeff sweeps. he sucks. As but a I'm saying, like our receiving core is not like the worst in the league. We're just no. there with no, the Steelers, you and they those motherfuckers. Deontay Johnson gets open every fucking play. I mean, Deontay Johnson. He, he's cool. He's just route running. running. Yeah, he's, he's a great route runner. He that, hey, you guys want to know something? That motherfucker can't catch, dog. He like oh my god, he can't catch. I don't know what's going on. Listen, you know here it is. By the way, 86 catches. For 882 and no touchdowns. Look how many targets, targets, bro. 147 targets, 86 catches. You should be throwing that bitch. Oh, my God. He down there somewhere. What was he about to say, man? Our team, five five receivers caught touchdowns. Or five receiving touchdowns by a receiver. Chase Claypool. This whole year. Chase Claypool. He caught one. And George Pickens is probably (laughs) George Pickens. George George Pickens has four. And Chase Claypool had one. He caught more than Deontay. That's it. And he ain't been on y'all team since, what, week eight? (laughs) Yeah. That's it. (laughs) How long has Claypool been on? Since probably week eight, maybe? No other receivers caught a touchdown. Big Pat had two. Najee had three. And Connor Connor Hayward had one. And Derek Watt had one. That's pretty bad. That's Derek just, Watts was this game. No, 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 no. That's, said oh, that's, a Russian Russian that's just receiving. That was a Russian touchdown. Never mind. Hayward only had one, you said? Connor, Connor Hayward? Hayward? Yeah, one. And that was that big play, too. It was like no, a, receiving it was touchdown. Yeah, yeah, set up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> and Derek Watt had one. That was Najee a, had three. Big Pat had two. We had, we had six. Six what? We had six players get receiving touchdowns. Six players or six? But how many total how many receivers? receivers touchdowns? Oh, how, how many receivers? Only two of our receivers had touchdowns. Receiving touchdowns, too. Because, like, Anthony Schwartz got a jet sweep. That don't count for receiving touchdowns. Only two, only two receivers on our That's team ridiculous. caught touchdowns. Yeah, DPJ and uh, Mark Hooper. Yeah, that was but, it. like, besides, like, Najoku and Harrison Bryant. And yeah, that's The two I mean. running backs, yeah, but yeah. only two receivers. Yeah, that's pretty bad. That's terrible, man. I mean, realistically, we can honestly look at the rosters and say we were legit the same team this year. But you know what it comes down to? Mike Tomlin. And we got Doug Baldwin on the team. Your mic's dead? Oh, well. Well, guys, you've been listening to them talk through (laughs) our microphones for the past five minutes. It's still blinking. It's still blinking. Oh, but it's dead on there. Then the the receiver's dead. It's all right. Well, hopefully our receiver isn't dead. So we're going to... We'll end it here. You know, a little. They can't. You, they can't hear. Me. They can't hear. Your shit's dead. Hey y'all, thanks for joining. <laughs> Yelling at the mic. Your beard is weird. Your beard is weird. <laughs> What's up, everybody? Welcome to the drink of the week, brought to you by none other than Toxic Shock Official for the Barbershop Break Room. Let's make some Skittles. All you need, orange juice, do it about halfway. You're going to put your strawberry syrup in there. I know, it sounds weird, but I would never steer you wrong. First, you're going to mix that up. Get that nice color in there. But I prefer sour, so we're going to turn it into sour Skittles. What you add into that is that Smirnoff Sour Berry Lemon. You could stir it again if you want. You don't have to. The color is a little unappetizing, but I swear to you, the taste is not. Cheers. Perfect Sour Skittles. Have a great day.